So we've got all of our rows here from from one all the way down to a thousand, all of our different results. And the most, the, the things that we're going to look at here are just the, the CAR or the compound annual uh, return. Um, that's our percentage return basically. And also our maximum system drawdown or MDD or maximum drawdown it's usually um, usually known as. So that's done as a percentage as well. Um, the first thing we need to do is just go to file and options. This is really important guys. What we need to do is go to add-ins and just make sure that we have the analysis tool pack Excel add-in that just needs to be um, needed to be added in uh, to your Excel file. So once that's done, just click OK because we're actually going to use that right now. Now, if we go to data, and you'll see in a second why this is so important and why this is so cool as well. If we go histogram, histogram is what we're looking for, and the input range is just our compound annual return just from the top, so the number, number two, and if we hold shift and go all the way down to the bottom and click the bottom one, that is our entire range. We want a new worksheet, which is what we're after, and click OK. And Excel is just thinking about that because my computer is very slow. <laughs> now that is, um, is the data that will give us our histogram, and it's just selected there at the moment. So all of that's selected. If we click insert and just a normal bar chart up the top here. How do you like that? And you'll see why this is so cool. I'll just select these numbers really quickly and see these zeros with an arrow. This will just get rid of some of the de decimals there so it looks a bit neater. But have a look at this and I'll just see if I can enlarge this because this is so cool. This is our our sort of distribution chart of all of the range of our results. So it goes from 15% per annum all the way up to 23% per annum with the bulk of our results being around 18% per annum. So our single back test was actually, you know, fairly accurate, which is really, really great. And looking at this, you can sort of see that you, if you do get a 15% per annum uh, result, you know, you may not be too disappointed because you were kind of expecting it. It could happen in your lifetime if you were trading this system. So that is really, really cool. And what's more, we didn't really need any crazy tools to do it. I mean, this is this is great stuff and we're just doing it with normal sort of, you know, your, your Microsoft Office software. This is awesome. The last thing I will show you is a, is a scatter plot. A scatter plot looks like this. Um, what this is, is the annual return up the top here by the maximum drawdown. And you can see, you know, for each one, it has, it has the maximum drawdown and the annual return. And basically what we're looking for is something that's, that's not too scattered. So if we've got results that are all the way over here and all the way over here and all the way over here, then we know that our system isn't really very stable. So in this particular system, where we're getting quite a few different results all in the same area. You know, this is typically a good sign or a sign that, you know, it's, it's doing what it's supposed to be doing and not giving us crazy results for this particular Monte Carlo test. To do a scatter plot is really, really simple. We just take our compound annual return and you can take as many as you like and just select the top one, hold shift and select the bottom one and that'll give you that range there. And then our maximum system drawdown again. If we hold control now and just select all of this while we're holding control, now we've got both of these columns selected. If we go insert and just down to the scatter plot here and scatter plot. So even though it's taken over our data, um, just for the example, for the example of it, this is the chart and what it looks like. And we've only selected a few, so you know it hasn't come up with as many as our other one, our other example. But that's our basic example of a scatter plot there. Really, really great um, thing to see, you know, and another useful tool in your trading arsenal when you're analyzing the results of your trading system. Uh, but this ultimately, this is um, this is the, the, the good one because you can see your top range, your bottom range, and also where you might expect to, to travel most of the time 
for your particular trading system. So guys, I hope this has helped you in some small way. Check out the website. I've got so many more free videos. You will absolutely love them. Um, and they're a great way to get into trading systems and into Ami Broker particularly. Um, guys, have a great week. Happy trending until we meet again. And bye for now.